In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I set up the smokeless range in my garage. I will also be sharing all the components I used, as well as links to where you can find them. I had two major goals in configuring this setup. First, I wanted to be able to get everything up and running in 30 minutes or less. And second, have the largest screen possible. Let's take a look at what I did. What you're looking at now is the smokeless range main menu projected onto a screen attached to the inside of my garage door with all the lights out. With the lights on, you can see the screen size relative to the door. The actual size is about 10 feet wide and 6 feet tall for an approximate 150 inch diagonal. This gives me the screen size I was looking for. The inside of my garage door is white, just like the screen, which I suspect helps with the image quality. Now let's take a closer look. The grommets on the fabric screen are about 19 inches apart, unstretched. I decided to hook them on the door at 20 inch intervals to stretch it just enough to take out any wrinkles. I started in the middle and worked my way out using the bolts that you see here. The bolts are about 3 inches in length. Of course you could use the, the hooks that came with the screen but I wanted something stronger at the top to hold the weight of the screen better. And there you get a little bit closer view. And you can see how I hooked it through that panel at the top. You'll notice that I didn't hook anything to the side of the screen because I feel it was stretched out enough. And then at the bottom corners, I used an S-hook and a mini bungee cord and hooked it out like this just to give it that final stretch. And I think there's probably several ways you could do this. And then you'll notice across the bottom that I used the hooks that came with the screen. And there's probably several different ways that you could do this. I just decided to use the bolts at the top and then use the clips that came with the screen at the bottom. And then I did the same thing on the bottom right hand side with the uh, little mini bungee and the little S hook at the bottom right. And let me zoom out and you get another shot of the full screen on the door with the lights on. Now let's look at the projector and the smokeless range camera. As you can see, both of them are permanently attached to the ceiling and they are high enough that they won't get in the way at all. They are almost exactly 12 feet from the screen, which allows the projector to generate the largest display area possible given the screen size and still have good image quality. And the cables run from the camera and the projector down to the uh, desktop computer I have here. You'll notice that I have a wireless keyboard would make, which makes it a lot easier to move around and uh, control the screen while I'm looking at it. And then you see the little dust cover there. When that projector is not in use, I go ahead and cover it with that to keep dust out of the body of the projector and um, off the lens. And then, of course, I always put the little cap back onto the camera so that no dust gets on that camera. So, so far, I've been pretty lucky that they've remained pretty clean all this time. Now, back up to the projector. The audio cable runs from the projector over to my 20-year-old sound system that has two speakers on one side of the garage and two on the other side. When I turn up the volume, the gunfire is very, very realistic. So there's the speaker. And then my sound system. Now let's put it all together and uh, show you what it looks like. Are you ready? Stand by. So that's the speed drill and I'm just using the uh, microphone built into the camera. 
Now let's take a look at the type of uh, pistol that I'm using for the smokeless range. I prefer the realism of the Umarex Glock 17 Gen 4 and the mags that come with it. It's the closest air gun I've found to a real Glock 17. In order to prevent an empty mag causing the slide to lock open after every shot, I put a small piece of plastic in front of the follower to keep it from going all the way up. This prevents a tiny finger from sh uh, showing, which locks the slide open. And I use the spider attachment from Laser Ammo. I also have two Crossman air rifles, and I use this red attachment from Laser Ammo. So this attachment, as well as the spider, need to be dialed in to be accurate. Be sure to remove the batteries when not in use, or they will discharge over time if you leave them in. I tend to go through CO2 cartridges rather quickly, so I buy them in boxes of 40, like you see here. I found these boxes at Walmart for about $16 or $17 per box. Overall, I'm very pleased with this configuration. It allows me to set up everything in less than 30 minutes, and gives me the biggest display possible with the space constraints of my garage. The links to all of the components I used are in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please press the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And as always, good luck on your projects. Are you ready? Stand by.